All right, let's get right into the news here. Tonight's Dynamite, and obviously there's uh, a lot of speculation about who. Who's debuting on the show tonight? Tony Khan continued to pound the drum, it says here from WrestlingObserver.com, with multiple media outlets that Wednesday's Dynamite from Atlantic City, New Jersey, will be special for several reasons. Speaking to both people, the Insider busted open in separate interviews. Khan talked about tonight's surprise new signing that will debut against Isaiah Cassidy in the face of the Revolution qualifying match in the show in general. He says, I'm going to try to satisfy a lot of fans tonight. I had a lot of thoughts over the weekend and what that means. I pivoted some plans in the last few days in a good way to make tonight's show even better. Told PW Insider he thinks the signing is a, quote, major one for them and that he hopes people's expectations will be met. Also saying that even if the person isn't one of the guesses fans have, that does not change the possibility of them showing up in AEW in the future. He said that while there are a lot of fun things planned for Wednesday already, there is more that they have not announced, some of which will come today and into the evening. There is also going to be some really exciting things on the show that have not been announced yet, he said. He was non-committal to PW Insider on whether there will be more than one debut tonight. I don't want to get too specific to say exactly what's going to happen. It's going to be a great night for the fans. I promise there will definitely be one surprise, and I think there'll be some other really fun stuff along the way, too. Part of Khan's approach is listening to the fans, which is driving some of what they will see Wednesday. I really do value the feedback from the fans and what they have to say. Part of the reason I'm going to do a lot of things we're going to do on tonight's show is because I listen to the fans and their voice and what they want to see. There's a lot to look forward to on this show. So announced is Hangman Page, Lance Archer, Texas Deathmatch, an appearance by MJF, Isaiah Cassidy versus a debuting top wrestler, and an inner circle team meeting. Tony Khan also said, the new debuting star walking through the forbidden door on Wednesday's Dynamite will also set up this Friday's Rampage. He called it a huge signing. It's going to be a big reveal on Dynamite. It sets up this week's Rampage, puts a lot of iron on the fire. We have created an environment in AW where people routinely expect great wrestling matches, and we have wrestlers to live up to those expectations. I have created some debate about what it means to open the forbidden door, and that's what we're going to do here on this show. He said, I recently asked Danielson and Jade Cargill, who's already starting an amazing run as our TBS champion, to work together. Brian is going to be training Jade Cargill. Well, that's good. Coaching, I guess it would be better. So anyway, who's going to be tonight? Who's going to be tonight? Anybody know? Keith Lee. I'll tell you Keith who I Lee? think it's going to be. Who? I believe, and I'm not reporting this because I, I don't actually know who's going to be there tonight, but I I believe that tonight you will see the debut of Keith Lee, and you will also see the AEW debut of Jay White. I do believe that both of those people are going to be there tonight. They might not be. And uh, as Tony Khan noted, uh, maybe the debuting wrestler is not Keith Lee. Well, if that's the case, maybe Keith Lee's going to show up later on. But it appears, here's the two things that I can tell you that appear inevitable. Jay White, at some point, is going to appear for AEW. He's promoted it himself on every New Japan Strong show that I've seen in the last couple of months now, whenever he's got a live mic. He's going to show up at some point. I think it's going to be tonight. Keith Lee has has uh, he's likely likely signed with with AEW. Uh, we'll find out soon enough. But I believe that Keith Lee is going to end up in AEW one way or the other. So that's what I think is going to be here tonight. Could be other people, but uh, that's my prediction. Now I know you're you're kind of allergic to it, you know. But do you want to have some fun here a little bit? Since no, we have... I hate fun. <laughs> I know you obstreperous little man, you, but. You know, we've talked about a lot of names, names that, you know, won't be there for contractual reasons like Jeff Hardy, names that could be there like Keith Lee, Johnny Gargano, some people talking about. The not going to be Gargano. Wyatt. I would say with 90% certainty, it's not going to be Johnny Gargano. But I'm just saying, you know, Athena, there's all these names that have kind of been floated out there with Keith Lee being the most obvious one and Jay White, like you mentioned, I think that would make a lot of sense for tonight, but... There are a lot of New Japan contracts that had run out. So could we see Kamatonga, G.O.D.? Could we see Juice Robinson, who I think Juice Robinson fit Finley, I think would be a 
great addition in a lot fit of ways. Fit Finley? That would be a great addition. Well, <laughs> but it's David not going to be Fit Finley. Um, I'm sorry, David. I'm sorry. It's um, I'm old and your father was great. Um, look, uh, you, you don't know Bandito. Roosh. I, I don't know where they fit in because of politics with Mexico and things like that, but... You know, it's interesting to think about some names that are out there that could come in that people are not as hyper-focused on, which could make it really cool, especially if you do get a Keith Lee and then you do get a left field surprise. And I guess for some people that would be Jay White. But, you know, again, there's so many names out there that could come in and be impactful. Again, Juice Robinson, I think. And again, I don't know the situation with impact or any of that stuff. I think he would be a nice addition onto the AEW roster. Here's the deal. Would I love to see Juice Robinson and David Finley in AEW? Of course I would. Would I like to see any number of of talented New Japan wrestlers there? Yes. But here's the deal. Tony Khan has has built this up big, okay? I love Juice Robinson. I love David Finley. No, no, no. Look, I'm saying not not only as the only person. I'm saying along with... Say well, Keith of Lee, course, that I would secondary love secondary person. No, the secondary person's got to be someone like Jay White, to me. Like I, I mean, if if people are expecting somebody from New Japan to step through the forbidden door, I'm sure that like the real hardcores would be excited for Juice Robinson and David Finley. But Jay White is uh, at the top of the of all people, by the way, Mike. You're the biggest Jay White fan in the world. I am. He's but do at you the top sh- of this pyramid. <laughs> Look, but do you want to shoot that wide boat yes. tonight? I, I'm, look, a, a double shot is always you know why? fine with me. You know why I want to do this tonight? Why is that? Because Raw, even though it was on Sci-Fi, it did a terrible number. So, you know, both shows this week, I mean, man, this, this is, I don't know if they could beat Raw in viewership and 18-49. to 49. It would, uh, 18-49, to 49, I think they can easily beat Raw, actually. Total but, viewership, but, I'm not sure about that, but they, it's, it's not impossible. You're right. You're absolutely right, but... That's going to be established because there's going to be a surprise or two. You know what I mean? Jay White, unless Jay White debuts at the very beginning of the show, and then we see numbers rise, which could very well happen if Jay White is on your show. That's how much I believe in that guy. Best wrestler in the world. Take that, Osprey. Anyway, look, if, if the, the number is going to be set, I, I think. So I don't know if that's him being on the show is going to be that. It's not going to cause the number to go up. The, the, that die, I think, is already cast going into the show tonight. So he lost a hair match, came back with hair, we never saw him bald, and then decides to just shave his head. Do I have all this exactly right? Yeah, now he wants to have his head shaved. Oh. Pardon me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Smitty, stop that! No! no. God. Bro, trying to kill the brain cells necessary to tolerate the show. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.